Well, I don't really dig too much into politics all the time, but, uh, you know, Omarosa got drug out the White House. You know, this boy CJ Goodfellow back with the box of Clinton Moore. And, uh, you know, if you remember her from The Apprentice, I think, what, like season one? Um, you know, nobody got no love for her. You know, sold herself out to to bring black votes to Trump. And that's the thing. She screamed on her way out before she got drug out. I bought you guys the black votes. And they said, no, 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 you didn't. You know? And um, apparently it was a long time coming. I guess this dude, Jim Kelly, is now the White House chief of staff. Please me, I don't get all in that. I just found it interesting to speak on him. That, um, you know, you know, they actually, you know, speak on this. They actually said that she was leaving the White House to do other endeavors and go blossom out another, another field. But it started to leak out, you know, how messy it is, especially with Trump, especially when it's a, you know, it's about a, a black lady who nobody really knew what she did in the White House. She had some stupid director, Lee A. John, whatever. I'm going to link the article from the New York Times in the description. Got everything I'm talking about and more and more specific detail, just reacting to it. And um, you know, she tried to rush into Trump office and they didn't let her get that far and try to question question that. And she couldn't believe that her good friend Donald Trump would have her thrown off. And uh, that's what the chief of White House staff, whatever it is, wanted. That's what they wanted. They tried to say the Secret Service threw her out. They said they didn't do it, but they do have rings on, you know, that's guarding at the White House as well, so they could have drug her out um she couldn't believe it but you know what is believed what is believed she was abusing you know her access and her power a, a person that had no um you know no prominent role in the white house she was waltzing in waltzing into meetings when she wanted to she brought her 39 bridal shower crew or bridal you know crew whoever it was to take pictures at the white house and they was being loud and obnoxious um you know she was abusing her powers you know the little power she did have so it seemed, you know, Trump was advised to get rid of her. And, you know, I don't know if he'd be able to mend that relationship with her and not be able to go face to face and tell her, like, you know what, we good friends, but we got to split. But at the end of the day, we know Trump isn't man enough to do that. Um, and neither a lot of people wouldn't be man enough to do it. But I thought they had an excellent relationship. But when you make deals with the devil, um, you know what happens. You're going to get burnt in the end regardless. So as, as uh, you know, smart as a woman that she is, she had to see this coming. You know, they said she hadn't had access to Trump and full access to the White House like she had for, for several months now. So she had to see the writing on the wall. She probably thought her and Trump was so cool that he had never do this before her. And this was a relationship that could be mended, mended. And it couldn't be, you know, you know, you, you start abusing your power, you know, no matter what color you is. You know, people get tired, of you, especially you a woman. You know, they already looking at you funny, like how she get this position of power, you know. What is her credentials? And nobody knows what you really do in the White House, but you own the staff and you get money, you know, and you be able to have full access. And you probably one of the few black people that's walking around there. You know what it is. You know, you she thought she was walking on solid ground when she was on eggshells and thin ice the whole time. And do nobody got no you know, hard love for them. You know, you motherfuckers who, who sell out, you know, sell out for Trump. You know, they ask 50 Cent. Offered them a couple million or 500,000 or something like that to go to the convention and speak and sway the black votes towards Trump. 50 said all money ain't get money. And the guy that's really money driven turned it down. So I understand that maybe Omarosa was lying to herself saying Trump is not that bad of a guy. We close. He gave me opportunity on an apprentice. Whatever it is. You know, black people are frowned upon Omarosa. And won't support her. Not at all. You know, we won't support her. We'll say it again. We'll not support what she was doing. You know, um, you know, if you got to make it that way, you know, you know, tap dancing for the man. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, that's something that you're going to you know, take to your grave. You know, um, something that you shame your family in. You know, like I said, all money ain't good money. This, this woman is a bright woman. You know, she could have done a, several different things. But at the end of the day, you know, she could be mad, you know, and you know, that it's going to leak, leak stuff and leak what really happened out that messy ass White House, you know, and, you know. This is like one of the worst presidential terms I've seen as far as PR hits in a long time. You know, and he's not, and Donald Trump is not being able to um, get his, get, you know, undo Obamacare, undo everything Obama did. And that's was his main agenda to do. It wasn't to, you know, race bait the country or split the country apart with race and make more, 
racist thing we ever seen ever. It was his primary objective was to undo everything Obama did. You know, and if he, you know, divided the country, you know, with race at, at a point in time, I mean, so be it. I don't think he cared anyway. You know, his thing was to do undo everything Obama did. He hired a PI to find everything about Obama when he was in office to try to get him impeached. I mean, you know, it is what it is, man. Let me know what y'all think about this. If y'all digging the politics or not, it is what it is. We gone.